Hey everyone, one big boss here as you can tell from the title of the video clicked on. This is pretty much my reaction to Final Fantasy VII The Remake. PlayStation Experience, you know, it's happening. Uh, this is day one today. And, you know, right off the bat they did great things already. You know, they had, uh, un they had Uncharted which showed off a lot of stuff. And then Final Fantasy VII, they showed off actual fucking gameplay. And I was like, let it go. Just, just, okay, okay, I'm ready. Just, just boom, I'm like in my seat. I'm just like tensed up and everything. This game just looks awesome. They took what happens in Crisis Core, they took the combat system of Crisis Core, and I guess you could say uh, Kingdom Hearts as well, and implicated it into the new one, into the remake of Final Fantasy VII, which I think is a, is a pretty good idea. Uh, you know, a lot of us grew up on traditional RPGs and everything like that, so uh, I wasn't sure if that's the route they were taking this time for the game. Now we know, and it looks beautiful. Like, it really does. The, the game itself looks fantastic so far, and who knows how far in the development they are for this. I mean, they already have English voices in, in the game already, which is awesome. Granted, because this game is obviously made in Japan, the models will not be matching up and everything like that, or maybe they will, I don't know, I highly doubt it, but from what I saw, they're not matching up already. So it's kind of like when you saw Final Fantasy Advent Children for the first time, and you realized, hey... Their mouths are not matching the English words. But, you know, whatever, I'm not complaining. The game looks fantastic from how it started off, from the beginning of the start of the original game. It just looks great. Everybody's voice acted now. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse are in it and everything. They're talking about Cloud and everything. They say, like, you know, we need a specialist, like a badass and shit, who better than the man who made the big-ass sword he carries. You know, he's the man. Of course, I've always wondered how the hell he picks up you know, that heavy of a sword with those, like, scrawny little arms of his. I think, I think, honestly, his arms look thinner now than they did in Advent Children. You know, like, the way Advent Children characters were designed. Maybe it's just me and stuff like that, but, um, but he looks great, you know, like, the sword looks fantastic, as always, and everything, you know, the, the whole running around the streets and going through corridors and sh uh, shit, that was pretty cool. And Barrett's redesign is really cool. You know, I think that he, he he really looks the part of the character he's supposed to play. You know, there are these, you know, eco-terrorist groups that are trying to save the planet and infiltration, and he's wearing, like, dark military-looking colors and shit. His hand's now, like, you know, it's not like that regular gun that he used to have. It's now, like, a full-on fucking Gatling gun, which is freaking awesome. And he's wearing sunglasses. Gotta give it up to the man for wearing sunglasses at, at night and everything, you know, just like Albert Wesker. Ooh, you the man. Uh, but honestly, like... That like his redesign is really good because I know a lot of people did not like his Advent Children design and I didn't have a problem with his Advent Children design. Uh, I thought it was okay. I mean, he wasn't even in the movie that long. Uh, but you, the thing was, I saw a lot of people complaining already. Like, well, you know, where's Tifa? Where, where's Sid? Where's Vincent? Yuffie? K and I was like, well, you know, how far is this game in development? Really, is what you need to think. Regardless, I, I love it and I can't wait to see how the other characters are. Because like, my favorite Final Fantasy VII character is Sid. Guy swears like a sailor, he uses a lance, he likes to stick a dynamite up with his own cigarette and everything for his, his move. And I can't wait to see that. And I, I, I can't wait to see T Tifa's design, Aerith's, or Ares' design and everything. I, would, I can't wait to see how like they overall hurt their outfits, if they modernize, like, you know, change it up a little bit, you know. Uh, and the funny thing was, you know, as much as I have the the figure right here and stuff like that. I wasn't a fan of Tifa's original design, which a lot of people are gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. I just thought it was kind of silly in the old days and stuff like that. I really enjoyed her Advent Children outfit even more. Um, to me, like, that was her, my favorite outfit from her. Not that, like, you know, I'm not saying that's what they should have gone this time, but let's, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll keep Tifa the same, but I, I think changing things would be good. Because they already did say that they are gonna be changing a lot about this game, which, it's not a bad thing. It's not going to be a bad thing if they change it, because Final Fantasy VII has so much to it, and they can explore the plot way more now with voice acting and, you know, how far things have come since, what, 1996, 97, when that game first came out? So, um, yeah, like, I, I just can't wait to see how they do that. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping for a fuckload of content. Like, anything. Like, more stuff to do with the Gold Saucer, bigger battle arena... Um, 
more things to do with chocobos and stuff like that. Uh, materia hunting, maybe, you know, do odd jobs to earn gill. Stuff like that. Uh, maybe don't have a level cap, uh, at least not for a while. You know, maybe don't stop at 99 or 100, go further than that. Because I, I think there are some games that have actually have, have done stuff like that before. Um, I think actually in Fallout, there's no level cap, they said, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, you know, I, I, I think... I don't know. Maybe give them new limit breaks if that's possible too. I'm sure. I'm sure it is possible. But from what I've seen of the gameplay, because I love the Kingdom Hearts series, kind of fallen out of it because I'm just sick of waiting for the third one to come out. Which honestly, give it maybe tomorrow we'll finally hear something on Kingdom Hearts three. Um, but you know, I like the combat system of it, and it's not just like your traditional. The guys are just standing there like waiting for the attack and stuff like that. We're getting how this is going to play. But that's the other thing I'm kind of wondering. How are we going to control the other characters? Is there going to be like a button we switch to play as them in battle? Are we, are we only going to get three at once? You know, like maybe like hit R1 and it switches over to Barrett or switches to Tifa or Sid or something like that. That will be great. Um, I think something like that would probably work out pretty well. It would be pretty insane, but it would work out really well. Pretty much, like, I'm happy with what I saw from that because it's fucking fantastic looking already. There's English voice acting. So, I mean, like I said, I wasn't even expecting to see anything Final Fantasy VII related uh, so soon, you know? Because of what we saw at E3, I, I thought it was going to be like early next year we'd see something, you know? But I'm really happy that we did get it. I have no complaints for once. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be like, you have no complaints about a video game? Look, I, I get it. Like, I understand what they're doing with this game. And they're not being lazy from what I can see. So regardless of like everything else that uh, you know that came with it, you know, there's a lot of great things that have come with just that gameplay trailer alone. Uh, let me know what your favorite moments down below were, and let me know what you want to see from this remake. Hopefully, the creators are going to be working hard on this because pretty much what else is there to do? And they realize the legacy that this series, this game itself in the franchise, has impacted. I mean, fuck, Cloud's coming to Super Smash Brothers at one point, which. Uh, I know we won't probably hear anything about that for a little bit, but like I said, I can wait. Um, regardless, so put your thoughts and all and opinions and all that stuff down below in the comment section because I'd like to read them and see what everybody else thinks. And you know, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of people who agree with me because I know there's a ton of those people out there who don't like Final Fantasy VII, and even a lot of my friends who don't like Final Fantasy VII understand the importance of the game and try to explain that to people. And I hope that maybe I can too in the future. Either way. Like and subscribe because it's free in this day and age. Free is a damn good thing. As always, everybody, thank you for watching. I'm One Big Boss, and I will see you all next time.